Hello, good people of the internet. There is sometimes this kind of situation where someone makes a really, really dumb, really stupid decision and consequences of such decision come back and bite that person in the um, backside really, really hard. Don't you love it when it happens to politicians? I personally do. Pardon my French, but you're an asshole. Well, maybe a little. So, anyway, Irish Prime Minister Leo Varadkar, I hope I pronounce it correctly, he decided that he had found a way. He'd finally found a way uh, what Hollywood couldn't do. He knew how to present this left-wing stuff to people, to common folk, and make those people love diversity, inclusion, and belonging. And the result is that he has to step down from the position of Prime Minister of Ireland, ladies and gentlemen. First off, I would like to admit to something, my dear viewers. I'm also guilty of overusing the word woke, quote unquote. Right now in this day and age, this word has been overused so much that I don't even know if people know its true meaning. Because at the very beginning, the meaning was very positive. Right now, it's just pejorative. People on the left start yelling at uh, their opponents, saying they are errists, they are bigots, they are Nazis, or whatever uh, they want. And the right side starts yelling, and you are woke, you are leftist, so there's no dialogue here. It's just the exchange of slurs, and it doesn't mean anything anymore. So that's why the title of this article is like, eh, for me, because... Like I said, the word woke right now, what does it even mean in this very cultural war that we have? Let's go back to our very intelligent ex-prime minister. What does the article say? Ireland's prime minister of Taoisak, Taoisak, also not sure about pronunciation, Leo Varadkar has resigned as both head of the government and leader of his political party. Fine Gael causing a political hurricane in the country. The news follows a brutal referendum loss that saw more than 70% of the Irish electorate vote down proposals to amend the constitution. Now listen to this. To eliminate the words mother and woman and expand the definition of family beyond those based on marriage. Of all the left-wing things, Jesus Christ, the audacity to even propose stuff like this, that the words mother and woman should not be a part of a public debate even, shouldn't be a part of constitution of a country? Can you imagine how left you have to go to make it sound in your head that this is a very good idea to propose to people? Imagine... A miracle happened and the constitution of Ireland was amended and starting then, well, mothers don't give birth to children. Also, women don't do it. It's, um, I'm not sure what the nomenclature would be starting then. Maybe female person. Oh, him, he, him. That's how he identifies, even though he, him has a um, female set of organs. He, him gave birth to this beautiful, uh, we cannot say woman, we cannot say girl anymore. It's, um, it's a female-oriented baby. Stop it. Get some help. It was one of the biggest defeats in Irish electoral history. Gee, I wonder why. Varadkar acknowledged this when he said... There are a lot of people who got this wrong, and I am certainly one of them. Gee, you think? This is also an example of great political hypocrisy. Because, listen to this, despite his conservative outlook in his early career, being openly pro-life and anti-gay marriage, Varadkar transformed into the wokest and most progressive prime minister in Europe. 
and I bet it wasn't due to his sudden uh, change of heart, shift of political opinions. He just saw where the wind was blowing from, or, or he thought where the wind was blowing from, and decided it's time for transformation, for political capital. That's basically what politicians do. They do this kind of crap all the time. Let me put it this way. In Poland, if any politician decided it would be a good idea to start referendum like this, to organize referendum for changing words in a constitution, that person would be politically destroyed in a matter of seconds. First off, a referendum takes a lot of money, effort, and other resources to be organized in the first place. And guess who is going to pay for it? Us, all of us from our taxes. Therefore, in my country, this kind of idea, you know, changing vocabulary for the sake of political correctness, changing constitution because of progressive ideology, that would be considered brainless. And politicians who came up with that kind of idea would have been roasted by public opinion. This politician right now, in general, wasn't very popular in Ireland. There was housing and health crisis, child homelessness, also taking in more and more refugees. A lot of Europe has refugee problem. I'm not, I'm not talking Ukrainian war, I'm talking about refugees that came earlier from Syria, from Algeria, from poorer Middle East regions and many of these people turned out to be criminals. He was opting for taking in more and more refugees. Also, he was caught leaking very sensitive information to the public. So one can argue if him going woke was what made him step down or was it the final nail in the coffin? I tend to believe that it was final nail to the coffin, but it was a very huge nail. There you have it, people. Another great example of pushing the envelope, misinterpreting the ideals of diversity, inclusion, belonging, equity, uh, just for the sake of political capital this time. And as you can see, just like with Disney, Hollywood, just like left-wing Twitter mobs, the results are pretty predictable. And even though, as I told you, I don't like this word, I might say this is a story about going hyper-woke and getting hyper-broke because of that. Cheers. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed my video, please subscribe, drop a like and press the notification bell so you won't miss anything I upload. And if you didn't enjoy this, well, subscribe anyway. At least you will know when there is a new video to actively hate.